Chapter 313 What? Emma shrieked in panic. How's Dad? Where are you now? Elaine's trembling voice echoed with a mixture of shock and sobbing. We're at Apollo Hospital. Your dad was unconscious after the accident, come here quick. Never did Emma expect to receive such bad news when she was celebrating the grand opening with joy. She cried into the phone, okay, I'll go there right now. Alex heard the conversation clearly and realized the seriousness of the matter. He turned to the guests and said, I'm sorry guys, Emma and I have to leave immediately. Please make yourself comfortable here. Under normal circumstances, it would be rude for the host to leave the guests aside, but since these people were Alex's fans, they didn't mind it. Hence, Alex drove his wife straight to the hospital. After he parked the car at the parking spot, they quickly went straight to the ICU. They pushed the ward door open and saw Trump lying on the bed with his eyes closed tightly. He was in a coma. Elaine sat by the bed, staring at her husband in a daze. There were bloodstains on her body and her face as pale as a sheet of paper. Blood drained from Emma's face, her eyes filled with tears. She rushed to their side and asked anxiously, Mom, how's Dad? What happened? Elaine's eyes were swollen and red. She said with a sob, We were on the way to your opening ceremony when a muck truck ran the red light and crashed into our car. Your dad is in a very critical condition now. Emma turned to the doctor who stood in the ward. Doctor, how's my father? The doctor answered, Don't worry, he's in a stable condition for the time being. Emma and Alex heaved a sigh of relief. After a short pause, the doctor said again, hesitating, but... Emma frowned in confusion. But what? The doctor sighed and continued, but the patient's spine was injured in the accident and he might be a quadriplegic when he wakes up. Quadriplegic, paralyzed from the neck down. In that case, he would become a living dead who has lost the ability to function independently, which is only slightly better than a vegetative person. Upon hearing the news, Emma felt dizzy all of a sudden, as if the sky was spinning right before her eyes. She would have collapsed to the floor if Alex hadn't been swift enough to hold her. If her father really became quadriplegic, it meant that he could only lie in bed and lose the ability to function. He could do nothing. It was a living hell. She quickly asked, Doctor, is there any way to cure the spinal injury? The doctor shook his head. Basically, there isn't a cure. To date, there are no cases of quadriplegics who have been cured. The best we can do is have the patient sit up by himself and the rest is out of our hands. It's best for you to be mentally prepared. Emma's tears flowed like rivers. Then, she turned to Elaine and asked, Mom, are you okay?